On January 12th of 1916, as the Great War was in the process of tearing European civilization apart, Oswald Böcke and Max Immelmann became the first flyers to receive the Pearl and Merite, which you can tell immediately from its name was Germany's highest military honor in a war against France. And there are a number of interesting things about Böcke and Immelmann being the first flyers to get this award. It underlines the extraordinary place that aviation held in the early 20th century as an emblem of modernity, a great way for human beings to rush around, make an appalling noise, and kill one another. But after they received the award, both men, for shooting down eight Allied flyers each, both men became heroes in Germany, to the point that the authorities became somewhat worried that they might be killed and it would be a crushing blow to morale. As a matter of fact, Immelmann was killed. Bilka was then grounded and sent on a tour, but he insisted on getting back in the air, and he too was killed, hit by one of his own planes. But what really strikes me about this is that in the middle of this struggle, with growing hatred on both sides, remember there was that truce in 1914 on Christmas Day that couldn't be repeated in subsequent years, not just because the commanders forbade it, but because the soldiers were too bitter to contemplate doing it. Nevertheless, as an emblem of an older world that was passing away, the Progla Merite, which was inaugurated in 1740 in Prussia, adopted French rather than German because France was then a leading cultural as well as military power and as a kind of feeling that there was something that united European civilization, a kind of common culture. In the Middle Ages, the common language would have been in Latin, but in the 18th century, the educated tended to speak French and they didn't feel resentful about it was also regarded as Christendom at that time, another thing which it seems to me largely died in the trenches. Now, if you've watched our documentary, The Great War Remembered, and if you haven't, you should, it's available free on YouTube, you'll know that I have no brief for the German cause in World War I. I think they started the war, I think they had excessively belligerent aims, and I regret that Immelmann and Bilke did not have a better cause in which to fight. But that doesn't mean they weren't outstanding pilots, doesn't mean they didn't deserve the award. Bilke, in fact, trained Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, and Immelmann had a maneuver named after him, the Immelmann Turn. And unfortunately, they were both killed in a war that also seems to me to have killed off many of the ideals that that people did still try to uphold even in the midst of the carnage in the first couple of years of the war. You can't imagine the Germans in World War II giving an award with a French name to their most outstanding soldiers. But I don't want to be too gloomy and depressing here. The Pearl de Marie, which was revived as a civilian order in the 1920s and then you know, disappeared again, it reappeared in Germany after the Second World War. So. Don't let the fact that it was also given to Hermann Goering during the First World War bother you too much. He too was an outstanding flyer, although he was, as it turned out, an extremely evil man. But there is still some sense in Europe that it would be good to recapture the kind of world that disappeared in the slime and mire and gore of the trenches, in which the Germans could name their highest award in French. If you're enjoying these commentaries, please visit my website, that's www.johnrobson.ca, and make a contribution to keep me doing the work that I do. And also continue to watch and subscribe to The Rebel, where you get the news you're just not going to get anywhere else.